Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 939. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, 8, uh, 938 to 941, click on the link below the video. Hey, in this video, we want to talk about how to use the AND function and the OR function inside the IF function. Here's our six examples about how to use AND and OR <coughs> in various combinations. All right, let's look at our first example. We'll just look at a straight credit rating. So we're a company and we want to extend credit. And the hurdle to extend credit is 6 out of 10 from the credit rating. Now we'll just look at a straight if example. And in fact, we'll look at what's called a logical test or a logical formula. Because the if function, the and function, and the or function all depend on what's called a logical test. Or if you, if you do it inside the, the function itself, it's called a logical test. If you do it inside of a cell, it's called a logical formula. So here's the situation. For each one of these customers, we just need to say, is that greater than or equal to this? So we make a formula, logical formula. Equals is the relative cell reference one to my left, greater than or equal to two separate characters, equal, all, always coming second, greater than or equal to that hurdle. And now I'm going to hit the F4 key to lock that cell reference. That will give me one of two things. This is a logical formula that only gives me a true or a false. Control, Enter. Double click and send it down. So there, we get a true and a true. So those two customers, we want to extend credit. Now, in the if, we're going to call it not a logical formula, but a logical test. And the beauty, beautiful thing about the and, or, and the if is they have these logical tests, and they can only come out true or false. So I'm going to say two cells to my left greater than or equal to the hurdle, F4 to lock it. Logical test, comma, the value of true, I'm going to put in double quotes And double quotes. So anytime you put text in a form, you put it in double quotes. So when this comes out true, that's what's going to be in the cell. Otherwise, we're going to put in double quotes or whatever you want. I put no credit. So the goal of the if is to put one of two things in the cell. Now I'm going to copy this because the rest of the formulas are going to have these two one of two things that we put in the cell. So I'm going to control C. That way we don't have to type it later. All right, so now I'm going to double click and send it down. And of course, now instead of seeing tr falses and trues, we see the result. No credit when it's false. Extend credit when it's true. All right, so logical test, logical formula. Now what if you have two? That's where the and comes in. So you're in the credit department, and there's a credit rating of six that hurdle and a sales last year's sales of 500,000. So both must be true. So anytime you have more than one logical test, then you can use, and they both have to come out true, or all of them have to come out true, you use the AND. Let's try the AND equals AND. Notice logical 1, logical 2, logical, you can put as many as you want up to something like 255. The first test, I'm going to say two cells to my left, greater than or equal to credit rating hurdle, and then F4, comma. There we have our logical two. That means we can have two tests. One cell to my left, customer's sales last year, greater than or equal to the hurdle F4. Now the thing about the AND, we only have two logical tests, but however many you have, they all have to come out true in order for the AND to deliver a true. These both must be true. Now we can I this one, right? Looks like this one and this one both are true. These ones are not because that's a false. This is a true. Again, even though there's one true, it doesn't matter. They both have to come out true. So I'm going to Control Enter and double click and send it down. All right, so the formula is working. It's only this one where we have true and true. Notice the equal sign comes into play here, right? Because equal to 6 is OK. We can get right on this hurdle. Now we can put this inside of the if. The AND is just delivering one true or one false, even though there could be many logical tests. So I'm going to say if. There it is, logical test. The AND now sits in that argument. I come to the end. And now I'm going to Control-V, because I already typed that from before. 
So the AND is just delivering the true and false to the IF, and then the IF is either going to put extend credit or no credit. Control Enter, double click, and send it down. If you change one of these, so this one right here, 6, 6.5, boom, that updates. I'm going to Control ZZ to undo twice. Now let's look at the OR. So in the when you're using AND, both logical tests, two conditions, must be met to extend credit. But sometimes you have one or the other. You're testing two things, the same two things, but the credit department says, hey, I don't care, as long as they pass one of them. So equals OR, same arguments as the AND, but fundamentally the OR needs only one. Whereas the AND function needs all of the logical tests to be come out true in order to deliver the true, the OR function needs just one or more. Oftentimes you hear at least one test must be uh, passed. All right, so it's the same uh, logical test, it's just the OR needs only one to then deliver a true to the cell. So I'm going to say two cells to my left, great, and then are equal to the sales hurdle, F4. Second logical test, one cell to my left, the sales for last year, great, and then are equal to uh, the hurdle for the sales F4. By the way, I put these equals in sometimes. In our next example, we'll see when they're not there. This just means that if you're exactly on 500,000, you still get extended credit. All right, so the OR, control enter, double click and send it down. It failed here, but because it got a true here, OR delivered a true. Failed here, passed here. Both, so notice the OR can deliver either one true. If it sees just one, it'll deliver true or both. Right? That's why at least one, the smallest it can be in order for or to, to deliver a true is one logical test passed. And you can see here this one passed, but not this one. In this case, both fail, so it delivers a false. All right, so now we use the or inside the logical test for the if. There we go. And then control V. Remember the uh, if function, if I click right here, I can see value if true, and then I click in this sec third argument, value if false. Control Enter, double click and send it down. Now what about our next example? What if you had a credit rating department that had three tests and all three of them had to be true? Now here's our test, the credit rating uh, in the, the, the business, the credit department says, Credit rating 1 has to be greater than or equal to 6. Sales last year have to be greater than 500,000. And the credit rating 2, that's this one right here, has to be greater than 2.5. So it's, if it's exactly 2.5, not extending credit. And all three of these, 1, 2, 3, have to come out true in order for us to extend credit. We're going to use the AND because all of them have to come out uh, true. So I'm going to say credit rating 1, relative cell reference, three cells to my left, when that's greater than or equal to my hurdle, F4, comma. Credit rating 2, two cells to my left, greater than this hurdle right here, F4 to lock it, right? So that's logical test 2, comma, logical test 3, our sales. relative cell reference one to our left when that's greater than or equal to the hurdle. Now when do you use equal signs, when do you don't? It's usually all by contract, right? Someone just got to listen carefully. If they say greater than, there's no equal sign. If they say greater than or equal to, then use the equal sign. All right, so logical three, all three must come out true in order for and to deliver a true control enter. Double click and send it down. Now, oops, I think I, uh, Made a mistake here. Look, if I put this last cell in edit mode, boom, right there, I forgot to lock that orange one. So I'm going to escape, click in uh, this formula right here, click in the middle of B59, that's the sales hurdle, and F4. All right, so now Control Enter, that needed to be locked, double click and send it down. Anytime you copy a formula down, a column, you always go to the last one and check, right? So those are all locked, those are not. All right, now we can simply 
take this and, which is looking at three tests, if they all come out, we want words in the cell, not true or false. So we say if that and will just sit in the logical test. And I come to the end control V value if true, value if false, control enter, and then double click and send it down. All right, so those are three conditions that have to be met. Now let's look at a next another example of now it whoops. In this example here we want to see how to use the AND and OR function to do what's called a non logical test. Now this is the same example we just did. Here's our credit department. Here's our three tests. All three have to be passed. But it, we did our example where we did our extend and not extend. But in this example, I want to find out when there's a customer that has no tests passed. right? So we could eye it, right? Not passed, not passed, passed. All right, so there was one. So he passed, this person, this customer passed at least one. And you go through and you know, this one, uh, didn't pass, no pass, no pass. So I don't want to have to do it by hand. Now, what has to be true for all three to uh, have failed? False, false, false. So we need three falses. Now, we can't use the AND function, because the AND will deliver a true if they're all true, or a false if just one of them. So we're going to have to use the OR function here. False, false, false. Well, what does OR deliver when all the tests are false? It's a false, right? Because it didn't find any. So let's start with that, and then we'll see a clever way to convert it to a true. So I'm going to say equals OR, and I'm going to run my same logical test. Credit rating 1 greater than or equal to our hurdle, F4. Credit rating 2 greater than hurdle, F4. And then sales. greater than or equal to the hurdle F4. All right, so the OR. If it finds just one, it's going to say true. When it sees all three are false, it'll deliver a false. All right, so they all came out because all of them have at least one, right, except for this one. No problem. There's a function built into Excel that specifically converts false to true and true to false, which is what we want here. Our affirmation that no tests have been passed is when OR delivers a false. So we come up here. And notice in this is a logical function. The OR, the AND is a logical function. Even the IF is a logical function. And notice they have logical tests. But check this out. There's a function called NOT. And notice the argument here. All it says is, please give me a logical. That means no logical test, just a true or a false. Now, actually, it's fine if you put a logical test here. But this is expecting a true or false, and that's what the OR delivers. And NOT converts a false to true and a true to false, which is exactly what uh, we need here. So ready? Control Enter. Double click and send it down. So now it says true when none of them are passed. Now, you could amend this further by putting an IF here, right? So if, and then that whole thing is sitting inside the logical test, right? And if that comes out true, so I'm going to put something like no tests passed. Otherwise, and you could put whatever you want here, I'm just going to put double quote to show a blank. So I'm going to try to control enter, double click and send it down. So that's called a none construction when you have a not and or. All right, our last example is how to use the if and and when you have a little bit more complicated uh, logical construction. Now I'm going to change this zoom maybe down to uh, 135 or something like that. All right, so that fits there. Now here's our situation. Uh, and again, credit departments could can you know create all sorts of uh, test to see whether they want to extend credit. In this case, they said, hey, look, we really trust credit rating one. So we have to have the customer greater than six. So that's going to be our test. And one of the two other ones has to pass. So here, this passed. And then at least one of these other ones has to pass. So this one passed, this one didn't. So we'd want to extend credit. right? But the construction is, the first test we want, true or false, 
and one of the other ones. So in this case, we can actually start by using an AND, build this test, and then the second argument of AND, we'll use the OR to test whether one or more of these uh, have passed a test. Equals AND, and we'll do our first credit rating. We have to have this one passed. So greater than or equal to the hurdle F4. That's logical test number one. Logical test number two is an either or. So directly inside the logical two, we put an or. And we say, hey, we don't care which one, just one of the remaining. Credit rating two greater than the hurdle F4, comma, the logical test two for or sales greater than or equal to the hurdle F4. Now, the or, I close this off. And now that or is simply the second logical test inside the AND. Close parentheses, Control Enter. Double click and send it down. So we have a true because it passed here. And this one passed. Well, that one did too. Passed. They both passed. So in this case, it's an either or or both. Down here, this one passed. This one didn't. But this one did. So it's still got a true. Now we can finish this off. If the AND and OR construction is just sitting in that logical test, and then control V. Value if true, value if false. Control Enter, double click and send it down. All right, that's a lot about the AND and OR, and even a little bit about the NOT inside the IF function. All right, we'll see you next video.